The sun was out at Newton Abbott on Monday where Tony McCoy rode a treble on the card. The first leg came aboard the odds-on favourite Lissio who bolted up in the novices hurdle over two mile one. The six-year-old in the orange, who finished second, the progressive Thunderstrike at Utoxeter under his penalty last time out, returned the four to seven favourite. Best said of the winner that they had spent time getting him to relax and settle and it has paid off. As Lissio heads towards the last, he's just got to get over it. Lissio, he's over safely, a short run in, and he'll come home alone. Oh, Bulbury Springs is down. Bulbury Springs down at the last. Lissio wins, 43 for the season for the champion jockey, Tony McCoy. Lissio wins for Jim Best. Second, Sir Dylan. I think there'll be one other finisher, Ifan in third, because... Half an hour after he rolled Bold Raider to victory in the two mile six handicap hurdle, he was once again back in the winner's enclosure when American legend in the colours of J.P. Manis just got the better of Clinton on the run to the line. The two to one favourite, who was wearing a first time visor, handled the conditions and the step up and trip well. He's still young and looks open to further improvement. The cheek piece Kalinton, still leading American Legend, who's now under a drive in second. They head towards two out on the left, Kalinton on the right, American Legend, then they're clear of Bowl Perk and they're head ahead. Kalinton lands just ahead, but now American Legend sees his chance on the far side. There's not a great deal between them. On the left, Kalinton on the right, American Legend. They head down towards the 12th and final flight. American Legend just ahead now. American Legend makes a mistake, but leads Kalinton by a half leg. American Legend all out. Kalinton coming back. American Legend. It's a treble for Tony McCoy. American legend wins. Kalinton in second. And they were well clear of Bol Perk in third, ahead ahead in fourth, and Calviro and Noble Sheik will be last. Meanwhile, the feature race on the card went to the Paul Henderson trained Carl No Ferry. The nine year old and the Brown came from last to first to win the handicap chase under Tom O'Brien. The mayor won three times at the track over hurdles in 2011, and having had time off since then, she was racing off a £10 lower mark on her return to chasing. The trainer said that she loves the fast ground and that might be the key to her. Look out for Kyle Noferi, who's staying on strongly in the brown from the back of the field. Easily pleased in front, the danger could be Kyle Noferi on the far rails. Here's the final fence. Far side, Kyle Noferi has jumped to the front to Tia Moore in second. Easily pleased in third. On the running they go. Kyle Noferi by a neck, by a half to Tia Moore in second. Kyle Noferi from last to first. A well judged ride by Tom O'Brien. Wins for Paul Henderson. Kyle Noferi wins to Tia Moore in second. And finally, Party Palace in the blue and white continued her love affair with the track when landing the spoils in a two mile one handicap hurdle. The mayor has now won four times over the course and distance and returned at 9-2 under Giles Hawkins. The party Palace has now taken over on the near side, breaking bits one pace back in second. It's Party Palace to Mayor. Here's the final flight. She lands ahead by a length and a half. And with a short run in, Party Palace is back to winning ways for Stuart Howe and Giles Hawkins. What a tremendous mayor she's been this summer. Party Palace, she wins again. Second breaking bits. They're clear of West Brit every chance in third. And then four nations, Zama Zama.